If your knitwear gets a hole in it, it's quite quick and easy to fix it and I'll show you how to do that now. There are a few simple tools that you'll need. A needle with a blunt end and a large eye that you can fit your yarn through. A needle threader is a really nice to have item that will help making uh, threading your needle easier. A small pair of scissors. Some yarn for your repair. You want to find something that's about the same weight as your garment. Uh, I've chosen a really contrasting colour here so that you'll be able to see easily what I'm doing. And a darning mushroom, which is not so easy to find these days, but if you don't have one of these, you just need something that you can put underneath your garment to act as a surface. So it could be an orange, a tennis ball, a glass jar, something like that. So to thread your needle, you put the needle threader through the eye, put your yarn onto the needle threader and then pull it back through just like that. Place your darning mushroom or other support item underneath and I want you to envisage the shape of a square that has a clearance around your hole and that's what we're going to create. We don't use knots in darning, we're just going to weave our ends in when we're finished. So what I'm going to do is come up here which is going to be the bottom right hand corner of my square, leave a tail and then I will jump up above the hole and take a small stitch. Then I will jump down again next to where I began, take a small stitch. And continue not pulling your yarn too tight, everything needs to sit in a relaxed way. So you can see now that we've created our square, now I'm going to turn my work and we're going to work up and down weaving a new surface. So as we go, we're going to go over and under the yarn that we've put down here, we're not going to go into the jumper as we're doing that. And what I like to do to make it easier is to turn my needle around and use the eye end and pulling through. Just like that, don't pull it too tight. When you get to the other end, take a small stitch into your garment and then we're going to go back in the other direction and we're going to do the opposite. So here I will go under, over, back across. As you go, you can use the eye end of your needle just to pack the stitching down so it sits neatly. Don't worry if it looks a bit loose at this stage. We'll take a stitch at the end. So once you've finished, just poke your needle through to the back, remove the darning mushroom. You can see on the inside that we have created a patch over the top of the hole and the hole won't be able to get any bigger. So instead of tying a knot, what we'll do is just weave the yarn through some of the stitching loops here. And then we can trim those off and I'll do the same for that one. There's our hole darned, ready to wear again. You can see here that by choosing a yarn that matches, it's much less visible. And here we've got a really visible option. So you can really have a play around with your repairs depending on the look that you like.